Hi, it's Katie at Wild Birds Unlimited in Chesterfield. Did you know that August is peak hummingbird migration? You're gonna have a lot of hummingbirds visiting your feeders and we have everything that you need to keep those hummingbirds stocked up on their journey south. We have a wide variety of feeders. So our standard feeders um, look like this. So we have four to 12 ounces for these. So the way that these work, we have an ant moat in the center. You fill the center with just regular water. Any ants that climb down the post, they drown in the ant moat. Very medieval to have the little moat defending your castle. And then you put your nectar in the main part of the feeder. Whatever part of the feeder the hummingbirds land on, you're still going to be able to see them because you don't have a big tank taking up the middle of the feeder, which is pretty nice. We also have window feeders. These are the ones that I have at my house. I love it so much. Um, so you just suction cup this right to the window. The birds will land right in the window. Eventually they do not care if you're just standing right there. They'll let you watch them. They let my dog watch them. You put your nectar in the middle and you have your ant moat around the outside. In this hot weather, it's important to check your nectar regularly for mold and clean those feeders and refill them with fresh nectar regularly. If it looks cloudy, it's time to change it. If it looks black and moldy, it is past time to change it. So make sure that when you have that bacterial bloom, that little cloudy nectar, that's time to change the water. You can put your feeders in the shade. That can be a really great way to get a little bit more life out of your nectar. If you do not have good shade, you could hang it under a little weather guard. This one's a little tilt tinted to keep that sun off of it. Hummingbirds are attracted to the color red. So we have those. Something else you can do you can add nectar to fender. So I add the tiniest little cap full to my cup of water and quarter cup of sugar. And this can help nectar last up to two weeks in the shade. It's a really great product, especially if you're going on vacation. It works with the tiniest bit of copper, less than they have in their diet naturally. And it just keeps the nectar fresher longer. And you can also find nectar defender in our powder mix and liquid concentrate as well. As we get later into the summer, sometimes you can get bees and wasps in your yard near your hummingbird feeder. We have these nectar guard tips. These go inside our feeders under the ports and it keeps the wasps out of the feeder. We also have this bee repellent spray. It uses eucalyptus, mint, geranium, cinnamon, things that, that hummingbirds like the smell of, but wasps do not like the smell of and it keeps those wasps off your hummingbird feeders. Lastly, we have these ant moats. If you have a feeder that is not one of ours, that doesn't include one of these built in, you can add ant moats above your hummingbird feeders to keep the ants from reaching your feeders. We also have a variety of poles that will work for hummingbird feeders, red, which attracts the hummingbird feeders, as well as some short poles. So come on in and see us soon.